According to mainstream media reports, Jordan Brooks Amos was charged with unlawful possession of noxious matter after feces was dumped into Chase Bank. Regardless of what he is accused of and what crime he's been charged with, every American is supposed to be afforded certain inalienable rights. And so far, he hasn't gotten any of those rights. He hasn't gotten a, a right of habeas corpus. He hasn't gotten a right to a timely trial. He's been um, put into a psych ward for evaluation because he wants to do a particular legal strategy that's valid. And there's nothing insane about that, but it seems as if it's some kind of... They're using a psych ward as a kind of punishing imprisonment. And that's not... A Jordan allowed his van to be used to dispose of the fecal matter accumulated by the residents of 702, a collective of artistes. It was the custom in 702 to use buckets as a green alternative to toilets. That's, that's what his van was used, it was used to uh, basically deliver food to occupiers as well um, to carry tools um, so he could work on the houses. What is clear is that three masked individuals emerge from a white van carrying buckets of feces. They then entered Chase Bank and proceeded to pour the contents of the feces-filled bucket over multiple sections of the bank. The three masked individuals then dispersed. As an activist, I know he's like one of the hardest working act uh, activists out here. Um, he did do his Jordan was arrested two days later on May 16, 2012. At the time of his arrest, Jordan was performing his daily mission of delivering food to demonstrators. He was charged under New York Penal Code 270.05. Incidentally, unlawful possession of noxious material extends to items such as pepper spray and stun guns. Jordan was arrested for the stun gun his girlfriend admits she left in his car. He was not charged for the poop bombing of Chase Bank. ...able to visit him, and again, he's not a criminal. He's a political prisoner. ...other people that are middle class or just other people that have jobs and homes that don't run the show, you know? Some members of the mainstream media and their followers are now under the impression that any physical demonstrative expression of ideology that does not originate from a GA meeting is not a valid expression of Occupy ideals. Place in jail. I wish that there was more jail solidarity for him. And I know that he will be out soon and... Jordan's arraignment is scheduled for May 14, 2013, almost a year after his original arrest. Jordan plans to defend himself. So I'm hoping that everybody who sees this can realize what we really have to do is look at the system and figure out how we can stop supporting it. And that includes really giving trial support and jail support and all kinds of support to these people who have been incarcerated against their will and denied bond hearings and they're just languishing. And I, and I don't want to pretend they're invisible. They're not invisible.